On-screen alerts are often your viewer's first impression of your content. So we recommend spend some time and make them unforgettable. It sounds overwhelming, but with Streamlabs, it's not. In fact, it's really easy. In this video right here, I'm gonna show you how to create custom alerts using Streamlabs for all of your favorite platforms and more. Here we go. What is going on? My name's Wild, helping you become always bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Let's get started with general settings, which impacts every alert type. You have the ability to edit the alert delay, moderation approvals, profanity filters, and add custom bad words. After that, we have global editing, which you can think of as a tool for updating all your alerts and variations simultaneously. This does not act as a global setting, but rather a way to quickly update the settings on all of your alerts in a fraction of the time. You can still change these alerts individually at any time. Some of the changes that you can make are general, font size, animations, and text-to-speech. When it comes to customizing specific alert types, all of your linked platforms will show in the left navigation panel of the main alert box section of your Streamlabs dashboard. When you click on a platform, the menu for that platform will expand and you can then select which alert type you would like to customize. Here, you can customize the layout of the alert, image, or GIF that is played as well as the sound, font, animation, duration, text-to-speech, and more, depending on the alert type. Now you can decide if you want to add an alert variation, which allows you to play customized alerts for specific types of events. For example, you can play a different alert for a $10 tip versus a five or even a $1 tip. You can also create variations based on subscription length, level of subscription, cheer amounts, gift subscriptions, and much more. To set up a variation, all you need to do is click on the plus add variation button underneath the alert type. Then set the desired conditions for the variation to be triggered and customized. You can manage your variations for each alert type by clicking the Manage Variations button. Here is where you can easily view all of your variations, enable or disable, and delete variations, or jump to different variations to edit them. If you need an in-depth guide on how to set up variations, I got you covered. Use the link down in the video description and I will help you out. Now that we've made a custom alert, it's time to test and preview it. If you wanna double check that your custom alerts are to your liking, you can test them before going live with them. Now there are two ways to do it. First, let's talk about previewing. Testing your custom alerts is a breeze. You can review unsaved changes in the preview window of any alert you're currently updating. You can also use the preview window in general settings using the dropdown to select the alert type you would like to preview. Now, when you click preview, your alerts will only appear in the preview window and will not appear in your launched browser source or in your streaming software. This functionality helps ensure you can check your settings before you're ready to save or update your alerts while you are live. You can also mute the preview if you like to preview your visual settings without the repeated sound alert. Real events will not show up in the preview window. Next, you can test your alerts in Streamlabs Desktop to see how they look in your streaming software. The test button in Streamlabs Desktop will only show saved changes. Testing here will also send a test to the preview window on the alert box page. You can also test alerts in the alert box page at the top right test dropdown. In the Streamlabs OBS plugin, you can test your alerts from the test menus on the bottom left or the top right. All right, it's time to add your alert box in Streamlabs desktop. First, let's add the alert box by pressing the plus sign in the sources section of Streamlabs desktop. Now select alert box from the pop-up menu. Viewers can now see the default alert appear when they get a new subscriber, bit donation, follow, host, etc. You can test it by clicking the test widgets at the bottom right of your screen near the go live button. Now, if you're an OBS user that wants to use the power of Streamlabs alerts, the good news is we got you covered with our brand new plugin. All you have to do is download it and install. If you're not sure on how to do that, I've always got you covered. I'm gonna put a link down below that takes you to a quick installation walkthrough. After you have installed the plugin, select Streamlabs from the top navigation bar in OBS. This will take you to a screen where you can control your Streamlabs settings. Select widgets from the left navigation bar and find the alert box widget. Under the alert box widget, click the add button. 
an alert box widget will now appear in your selected scene. If you'd like to add an alert box to an additional scene, select that scene in OBS and repeat the steps. Now let's say you wanna add Streamlabs alerts to other softwares. The good news is it only takes a few clicks. First, you must obtain the link to your alert box widget from your Streamlabs dashboard. If you wanna create unique alert box widgets with specific alerts selected within, you can click filter events and choose the alerts you wish to include in the widget from the drop down. Please note, filtering will only apply to the custom URL you have copy and pasted, not to any widget sources added in Streamlabs desktop or with the Streamlabs OBS plugin. Only the alerts you select from the dropdown will appear in the alert box when you copy and paste the link. After you copy the widget's link, paste it as a browser source in your preferred streaming software. Then you can use the test function from your Streamlabs dashboard to determine if it's been added correctly. Widget themes act as a profile for your alerts and widget settings. You can either create your own widget theme from scratch as I covered earlier, or you can install a pre-made widget theme. Pre-made widget themes can be installed from our library. At times, you may wanna switch between different widget themes depending on the type of content you're streaming, the session, or even the game you are playing. All the widget themes include an overlay for your alert box. Depending on the widget theme you choose, some will include themes for other widgets, including goal, event list, tip jar, and more. If you're not sure on how to set up any of those things we just mentioned, I got you covered. Gonna put a quick setup guide link down below that'll help you out. To switch between widget themes, all you need to do is click on the drop down next to the browser themes, which you can see here. Now select one of your recently used widget themes. To choose from all of your widget themes, click on view all themes to manage all of your widget themes. You can also click add theme to create a new widget theme from scratch or browse any of the pre-made widget themes in our library. It may sound like there's a lot of steps to set up awesome alerts, but once you do it once, trust me, it's extremely easy to keep doing it over and over for all the different themes and games and events you wanna do. So go around, have fun within your streaming software and play with all the different tools Streamlabs gives you. If you need any more help, you know what to do. Go down below and leave us a comment. And hey, while you're down there, hit like and subscribe. My name's Wild, always helping you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. And of course, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care and happy streaming.